All right, welcome back to my channel. It's still your girl here, Janet Peter. I'm very excited to bring to you a solution to a soaping problem. I have to talk about liquid soap. I actually love liquid soap a lot. That's because it's flexible. So today I've gotten another experience in it. So I'd like to share with you on how to fix a lumpy liquid soap. Yeah. If you've been making soap for a while now, I'm sure you must have had this experience in the past or recently. So I'm going to explain to you the causes of this, how to fix it and what to do next. First of all, what causes lumpy? What makes soap to, to go lumpy? All right, we are going to look at two chemicals. Number one is nitrosol and the second one is texapone. Now, nitrosol, you know it's the number one ingredient in liquid soap. I'm talking about water-based soap. So what happens is, what causes it is, while you're pouring it, when you're not stirring it properly, it's really going to coagulate and form lumps. So what do you do? That's why for some people who don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, who doesn't have a mixer, we use stick, a long one, or you can use a stainless metal to turn it so what happens is how to do it how to make it convenient is you may dissolve the nitrosol in a small container that you can just turn it with one hand while pouring the nitrosol gradually till it is fully dissolved before adding other one now for texapone what may make texapone to cause lump to form lump in the soap is when it is not properly dissolved now the best way to dissolve texapone is by adding sulfuric acid to it you know texapone looks like a rubber so if you just want to dissolve it on its own it may, it may take time so the best thing is to add sulfuric acid and keep turning it you will notice that when you're turning it it will become thick so what you need to do is to add more water and keep turning it till it is fully dissolved. It is combined together before you add it to soap. Now, after making soap and you notice it is lumpy, you want to you want to sieve it, you filter it. Now, after filtering it, I'm also concerned about the quality of the product. So what do you do? I scaled or measure the grams of the lumps that I, I extracted from the soap or I got from the soap. If it is like seven grams, I may choose to measure another three grams or 1.5 grams or yeah, 1.5 grams or three grams highest and dissolve it again to add to the soap. That is because now you have taken out some parts of the natural soap that are supposed to function in the soap you know you use measurements what determine a good quality product is the measurement of the additives right so if you ought to use 20 and due to the fact that some has formed lumps you end up having 17 it may really affect the quality of the soap a bit now remember that nitro soap functions as a it forms and also as a thickener so if you take some part of it away from it when you suppose for example you're supposed to have 1000 grams of soap all together and some parts like seven grams is taken out is really going to affect the quality the thickening of that soap so what you do is to also cover up for that place by adding dissolving another some nitrosol and, and balance the soap. Now the soap is balanced if it is an equation. So what do you do next? What do you do? Now this way I praise myself. You can call me Dr. Fix. So what I do is I don't just throw away the, the, the filtrate. Because I bought it with money. Yeah. I wouldn't want to. I don't like wastage. So what I do is I dissolve it. I'm going to put a video for that. Now mind you, this happened twice this year so i i did the first video was not really complete so i didn't just want to put it on air until it happened again so i'm going to so the first day i 
I, I removed the lumps from the sieve. I just poured it into a plate like this. I add more water and be turning it with, with spoon every time I have chance to do it. And I would have used a mixer to be mixing it, but I didn't want to go through that stress of having to wash it every time. So that's why I use spoon. So if you have a mixer, you can use it. And the, ex the dissolved part, I'll put it in a container and close it properly. Please remember to label it for the next batch of soap. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something from this video. I really appreciate your time. Remember to like and comment under this video and please also remember to subscribe to my channel and if you have any question regarding soap please remember to drop it on the comment section i'll attend to it thank you very much thank you